Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of React and Node series, we will learn how we can prefill form for update product. You know that in last uh, videos we are working on uh, the product UI and product API. So whenever we are, we want to update any product. So let's say we want to update U10. That time this form should be prefilled so that we can check the previous data and we want to update it according to that, right? And uh, in last video, if you remember that. Uh, we get the uh, single product data from api and uh, now we will integrate that api in our uh, uh, ui part and uh, the data will be prefilled here right so these are the steps first of all we will get the this id from uh, url parameter then we will get the data from uh, api we will set the data uh, to these all input fields and that's all right and uh, after that in the upcoming video we will uh, create api for update product and uh, we will integrate that also and if you want to follow me on instagram then this is my instagram account id and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any kind of query regarding this video you can ask me in the comment box so now let's get back to the part and uh, first of all let's get this id inside the code so what do you need to do first of all you have to import uh, you have to use use param hook right so that we can get that id so simply put here import something from react router react router dom and let's just use here use uh, params that is a hook so now let's take a const and it's it name may be let's say param or whatever you want to put here and now let's uh, just define here use effect hook so that we can call the api inside it because we just need to uh, prefill the data only on whenever uh, ui is loading right so i just simply use here use effect and you know that it will take a callback function inside it all right and inside it i am defining of calling a function and let's say my function name is get product details right and uh, this function is not defined yet so let's it let's define it even you can call the api inside the use effect but uh, this is good to make a function for uh, ui call so let's take const with the function name and that will be details i misspell that sorry for that guys and uh, now let's create a callback function inside it uh, and that will be a async function right because we are calling api inside it and that will return a promise to handle the promise we have to use a sync and await okay so let's take a result and inside it let's call the api fetch okay before that we have to check that uh, are we able to get the id uh, with this uh, get param right so let's make a console and check it even if you want to use then you can you also use the breakpoints and debugging tools but uh, that's okay we can just just do it with the console.log and you can see that we are getting this id in the last it has six uh, b d4 and this is a bd4 that is the exact id so that means this is working fine and now let's call the api in a fetch we have to provide the api url and that is the api url and uh, we just we need to just make this id dynamic and for that uh, let's simply use a template engine so that we can integrate the params id with it dot id and that's all now let's again take a result and let's assign result dot json because this result basically uh, return a readable stream and if you want to convert it in the json then we have to use this json function and again we have to make here a wait to that function right so now let's check the result now what we are getting in the result and there should be the complete data about that product 
and uh, here you can see that we are getting the data like uh, uh, okay so let's check it with the previous so let's say i want to update the nokia 402 whenever we are clicking over it we are getting the category company name price everything if you want to check that any another data let's say m40 then again this is working fine we are getting the data regarding this MT, uh, m40 that mobile so now let's assign this result to the these states like set name price categories all because they are already uh, integrated with these input fields right so what we can do here let's simply set name and provide here result dot name and now let's check are we able to getting getting this data in uh, input field yes this is working fine so now let's define the second one set price and again let's put here result dot price and we can get the price also right so with the same way let's integrate uh, category set category and put here result dot category and again uh, set company and uh, we can put here result dot company and now you will find that the old data is prefilled so let's check it with another product let's check it with the u10 and you can see that we are getting the data regarding u10 let's check with the uh, nokia 402 and we are getting the data of the same product that's all for this part and in next video we will create api for uh, integrated product and then we will integrate it so that's all for this part if you have any query you can ask me in the comment box thank you for your time and please don't forget to subscribe this channel provide your feedback in comment box and like this video thank you so much